you guys want to be able to make something like this really quickly and fast as well as free then stick around until the end in this video what you're going to need is an ai website called doll e which is completely free and then there is another website called photo p or you can use photoshop or any photo editor you want but i'm going to be using photo p so first things first you want to go to labs.openai.com and if it doesn't look like this you might want to sign in first and then it should look like this so you'll see here there's a prompt this is all you really want to care about at the moment this is where you'll type in your logo so what I'm going to do is a dragon mascot logo and then click generate. After you do that, you'll see four pictures have generated and you can choose your favorite or you can click generate again to get more. This one is really cool and I think I'm going to use this one. So go ahead and click on the download at the top right. Now go to your preferred photo editor. I'm going to use photo P because a lot of you guys know how to use that. Click on open from computer, find that image that you just downloaded and double click on it and it should pull it up and here it is. So now we're ready to start. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get our text tool on the left side of the screen here. Click anywhere on your canvas and type in your name. Now it's a little small, so I'll show you guys how to fix that. Hit Control and A, to select all the text. Up here on the size word right here, you can hold left click and drag your mouse to the right to resize it. Or you can manually type in a number or you can use this slider right here, but it caps out at like 150. Now hit that check mark and move it to the center, wherever you'd like. Now you can see it's black, hard to see, so let's change this color right now. So what I'm gonna do is double click on the text and I'm gonna select the first three letters of the word. And I'm gonna go up here to the color box. And what I'm gonna do is click on the red right here, which basically what that does is it takes the color from the picture that I just clicked on and puts it on the words so it matches really good. So you can see that. And now I'm going to change the black to a gray like this one over here. Boom. So now it looks really cool. Now what we got to do is find a good font. So double click on your text again, go up here to this button and find a font that you like. All right. So this is the font I decided on. Now we're just going to click on the check mark and now it's a little bit too big still. So I'm going to change that size by hitting control alt and T. Then you can grab one of these boxes and drag your mouse to make it a little bit smaller. I think about here is pretty good. Hit that check mark. Now we're gonna edit the text a bit, so double click on your text box right here. Go to stroke. And we're gonna turn the stroke up to about 15. Click this plus sign next to the stroke to add another and change this one to white. And make the size about 25, hit okay. Now one thing I'm going to do is because the dragon's a little bit lower than I'd like, I'm going to move that picture up a bit to about like right here. And I'm going to get my rectangle tool and change the fill to this background color. And just, this is a very cheap way to do it, but that's what I'm going to do. And there you go. Now we can just continue back to where we were. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure my text is selected go up to this warp button right here, change the style to whatever you want, but I'm going to go with uh, shell lower. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to change the bend quite a bit. And I think maybe a little bit less. I might even change the font because I'm not a huge fan of it anymore. So let's go ahead and change the font again. You can keep yours, but I'm going to change mine. All right. So this one is really good for mascot logos. It's SF. I don't even know, Colligate. I don't really know what that means, but, or if I said it right, but that's what it is right up here. You guys can look at it. So this is the font I want to go with now. So I can readjust the size, make it a little bit smaller and then add more warp to it. So now we're going to do something really cool and we're going to put the dragon set over the text a bit. So go ahead and zoom in on this area or whatever area you want to make the mascot in front of and go to your pen tool on the left, change the fill up here to this X, which is nothing. Turn your text opacity over here down just a bit so you can see through it. Now go to the point where the text isn't at, like here. Hold left click and drag your mouse to just start outlining. And if you get to a part where it tries making a really weird hump where you don't want it to be, 
hold alt and click that last point and it should just fix it. it doesn't have to be perfect it could be rough and then just connect back to your start right click inside and click on make a selection press ok now you can do this different ways you could cut the text or what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on that background mascot logo hit Control c to copy it hit Control v to paste just that part now you'll see it's right here just drag that above the text now you can turn that text layer back up to 100 and boom check that out now what we're going to do is add a cool like wave inside the text so grab your pen tool make sure the fill is black Click somewhere outside of the text on the left side or right and just kind of go through the text or you can just go straight through it it's up to you like that press alt and left click on that point and now you can just go around it and connect back to the starting point now go up here to that shape you just made right click on it and click on clipping mask and make sure it's above your text layer so it's only on top of it now you can just click on that shape layer you just made and turn the opacity down. So now you can see it left a cool like effect on it, like depth almost. All right, so now we're gonna move on to lighting. So go ahead and zoom out of your canvas. You can do that by clicking on the zoom tool, holding left click on the center and just dragging your mouse left. Click this button down here at the bottom right that says new layer. Make sure it's the top layer of all your layers. Go to your brush tool over here uh, I'm going to change the color to white right here. Hold left click or sorry. Hold alt and right click and drag your mouse up to make it soft, down to make it hard, right to make it bigger, left to make it smaller. Make it look like this. Pretty big. Move your mouse above the canvas and left click. Okay, now change the color to red and do this on the bottom. We're going to change the blend mode over here on that layer to color dodge. And turn the opacity of it down. So you can see without it, with it. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.